In case you didn't notice, there is a new wave of 3D printed decals for the cockpits and instrument panels. I don't mind anyone using those, but for me they are too expensive. And more importantly, I enjoy detailing and painting the cockpits of my models. That's why I decided to create a series dedicated to the instrument panels as a focal point of our cockpits. We are going to start this series with the instrument panel of a 148 scale F4U Corsair from Tamiya. Here I'm going to use Edward Photo Edge, but I'm going to modify this as well. So let's start by removing the otherwise decent out of the box detail. The gains in terms of detail is marginal in this case. But the main advantage of a photo edge instrument panel is that it has actual holes where the instrument faces are. So we can attach the instruments behind the panel and then get more realistic appearance. Oftentimes the instrument panel comes with some other part of the cockpit. Be it the bulkhead or something else. This area will receive the same treatment as the rest of the cockpit. So I usually do them first. I may add some details and so on. In the case of this Corsair instrument panel, I'm not going to add scratch build details to the dashboard. But this may very well be the case in some of the future parts of this series. To be perfectly honest, I don't like how pre-painted photo edge instrument panels look. The texture is weird and oftentimes the colors are not great either. So the paint needs to go. In my experience, dipping the part in acetone works great. Just look how the entire paint layer separates from the metal part. The downside is that we lose the stencils that are printed on the dashboard, but this can be replaced later with some decals. Next comes a pretty self-explanatory layer of surface primer. The instrument panel should be black, but it is impossible to create shadows on black surface, so the base coat will be a very dark gray color. RLM 66 is a pretty good option in my opinion. After a quick masking we can move on with the cockpit painting and weathering. You know, all the steps that we are doing on the rest of the cockpit that has the main color. So we can move this out of the way. The next step is optional and you can skip it if you don't like the result. I am painting the back side of the acetate sheet that came with the photo edge set using some amber transparent paint. Some reference photos show such yellowing on the real airplane. Next up, again on the back side of the acetate, over the amber I apply a layer of white paint. This will make the graphics more prominent. Next comes some good old dry brushing with a light grey color. The recipients are the few buttons on the dashboard as well as the instrument panel. Now let's do a little bit of color. Check your references for this, as it's not going to be good if we get carried away and paint more than the necessary, or use the wrong colors. Alright, it is finally time to start sandwiching the instrument panel. First I'm gluing the acetate and the photo edge part together. After the PVA glue is dry, I will trim away the excess acetate. Next I will glue this assembly to the plastic part again using PVA glue. This glue gives enough time to get the parts in their correct positions. For the shadows around the instrument bezels, I used heavily diluted black acrylic paint. Some sort of a wash, so to speak. It is not going to have a giant effect, but it will gently outline the individual instruments. And finally, our dashboard is complete. With this pretty simple procedure, we get some presentable results. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy modeling!